I thought I would include my Azure Standard haul with my grocery haul. And I also went to the Chef Supply Store this morning because the Azure Standard haul was at 7.30. We had to go pick up. Um, and so I also ran into the Chef Supply Store and Walmart for a few other things that we needed. I'll include those in this haul as well. So we've got our grocery haul and Azure haul. Let's get into it. Okay, so from Azure, let's start out with this stuff first. Um, I went ahead and grabbed a 25 pound bag of bread flour. I do have my own grain mill and I do have a whole bunch of wheat berries, but I'm gonna save my wheat berries. And while I can get flour, I'm gonna continue to buy flour for right now. Uh, it's just easier when I need to go make my daily loaf of bread and my sourdough and everything. Of course, it's easy to use the grain mill back there. Uh, it's loud and my husband is actually home from work a lot now and I can't mill or do certain things when he's around because of the noise uh, bothers his ears so bad. So I went ahead and just grabbed some while he's home a whole lot and until we can get his ears sorted, um, they've got to get him some hearing aids and things like that, some noise canceling, I'm not sure, but they're working on it. Referrals, you know the deal. In the meantime, we're going to have some flour around. My dad's coming to town, so we got him a 10 pound bag of pastry flour. I don't know if he's going to make pies or anything or croissants, croissants, but I'm going to try to talk him into making um, croissants with me and because he's the master baker, he's got skills and so I'm excited about that. And then I grabbed two 10 pound bags of all purpose flour because I use that to make my sheet pancakes and we make sheet pancakes probably three times a week and that's just so easy. Boom. I just pour it into my container and then I always have my fresh or I always have my flour on hand. So right now this season of life we are saving our wheat berries and using flour. I'll still mill for certain recipes um, like when I make cornbread I'll use wheat berries and I'll mill the corn for our cornbread but um, for my our daily bread and everything with Aaron being home this much we're gonna get more flour as long as they have it in stock I'm not gonna scare anybody with the talk of wheat shortages y'all get upset with me when I do that but people message me all the time like the craziest conspiracy things and I just kind of like filter through them and you know I'm not going to get too wrapped up in all that stuff because I have a life to live and so do you. So we got some carob baking chips to try. Uh, these are sweetened organic and they didn't have any normal chocolate chips and I usually, I like to get the five pound bag of chocolate chips because we, that's what we have for our sweet treat and we add them to everything. So these dried cranberries, if you have not tried these, you are missing out. You can use my Azure standard link down below in this video's description and you can start ordering your goods from Azure standard too, your bulk food items. So these apple juice infused cranberries are so, so good. Um, definitely highly recommend those, especially as we go into the holiday season and we're going to be making like cranberry cookies and things like that. Ooh, I should get some white chocolate chips. Uh, those are great. We put them in our oatmeal. The kids have them for snack. I kind of have to uh, ration them because they will eat them all really fast. And the same thing with this dried mango. We get this five pound bag of dried mango. I say every month or every other month we get a bag of this um, because that's a great snack. And this also helps work their teeth and work their mouth muscles and their jaw and chewing on things that are tough to chew is really good for our mouth development for oral development and uh if we're not eating gristly meats and things like that we need to be eating some other kinds of chewy foods to strengthen our jaw and our facial muscles and everything so that we can be strong humans right no more mushy food y'all stop with the mushy food all the time and the soft food that doesn't work your face we need to work our faces, okay? We need to work those muscles. Um, and this is just one way to do it. So, rice vinegar, because I made pickles the other day and I didn't have any kind of white vinegar or anything. And then I used up all my white wine vinegar. So I ordered some rice vinegar and we'll use that for a variety of things. I'll probably start adding a splash to my rice. I love sushi rice. That is the kind of rice that we keep in stock in our house. I've got probably 150 pounds of sushi rice right now, and we eat it, I'd say, three times a week. We cook it with um, chicken broth, 
but I am going to start splashing some of that in there to make it more sticky sushi rice like delicious so this is all my Azure stuff I'm going to put my total up here because I don't remember what it was um, also when you use your Azure standard link when you click on my link below once you sign up, uh, you will also get your own referral link. And when you refer friends and family and they place an order of $100 or more, you get a $25 credit towards your groceries, okay? Towards your Azure Standard groceries. This is an amazing way that we can all help each other out. So share your codes. I don't mind if y'all do that down in the comments. Use my link. Do what you gotta do. Um, and enjoy your bulk organic goods all right over here we went to the grocery uh the chef supply store and from there we grabbed 10 dozen of these eggs we regretfully we got rid of our chickens last year when we thought that our life was going to be changing we went ahead and downsized everything um so we no longer have chickens here but guess what we're still downsizing and our life is still changing so we still don't have chickens and i'm not so sure that we're going to be getting any anytime soon until we settle down at our next home but for now um i'm sure my neighbors have some eggs i don't know i need to find somebody who has eggs on a consistent basis because we're running out of eggs locally here um so i grabbed 10 dozen of those and then back here for my emergency food stores i grabbed these really really fancy cape cod all gratin dried potatoes with fresh lobster. I don't know how fresh that is. Been in this bag for a minute, but um, this was $10 or $9.95. 17 servings per container. Not a whole lot, but I thought this would be a special treat or a special thing that um, we could have, you know, in our emergency food stores. And the same thing with these rustic mashed potatoes. Yes, I do have my freeze dryer, you guys. And I'll link that down below this video's description if you guys are looking for a freeze dryer. Um, but right now, just for ease, I wanted to add some things to my prepper pantry. And you guys know in every one of my grocery hauls, I share with you a little bit about my preps. And so this month, these items are also going to go in with my preps. And you are going to see in my grocery haul, or you have already seen in my grocery haul, what I got to prep from the grocery store, but I went ahead and I found these at the chef supply store and I added those. And this was also around $9. And this one has 32 servings per container. And this is just the old fashioned russet mashed, or not russet, um, these are the baby red potatoes that are mashed up. They have the peels and everything in them. So I went ahead and grabbed a bag of those emergency food stores thinking long term and then i ran into walmart and i really ran in there for bucket lids and a couple more buckets because i have a bunch of stuff i also grabbed some paint swatches just to see possibly be painting the house soon uh, but i went in there because i needed the buckets and the bucket lids for some bulk food storage i also needed some dishcloths and i love these flour sack towels i use these for all of my bread baking um, and then when they get like my husband will use them to wipe up coffee so they end up stained um, and then when they get stained, they end up being our uh, cleaning rags and things like that. So we go through these, and I love flower sack towels. I probably buy a 10-pack once or twice a year, probably once a year, and it's usually right before the holidays, I would say. Um, so it was time. It was time to get more. Then we also needed a new shower curtain and shower liner. So I just got the inexpensive fabric shower curtain. This goes in our kids family bathroom and you know how kids are. They smear their fingers all over everything. My kids are always dirty. They're always outside in the dirt and they come in and use the bathroom and they'll like halfway wash their hands and like fling their wet hands everywhere. So I thought that this <laughs> would help. My current curtain is solid white and you see all the mess on it. So um, this one, I need to wash my other one, but I'm gonna switch them out. So this one will go up and then when this one gets dirty, I'll switch it out for the solid white one. But maybe solid white isn't a great idea. Grab those two. This was like nine bucks for a piece of fabric, outrageous. And then this was, I think like $13 for this shower liner, but we get a new one of those maybe every year or every every year or so because we have super hard water 
and our curtains just get yucky. Everything gets yucky. So there you go. I'm going to put my Walmart total. It was about 50 bucks. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, these two, 10 egg, 10 dozen eggs and two packs of potatoes. This was $50, but I'm going to put the exact amount right there. And the same thing with Walmart. Um, and then the same thing with my Azure standard haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Leave a comment down below. Are you prepping? Do you save any food? Are you preparing for if you have a job loss, if somebody's injured, if somebody's sick, um, if you have to, for whatever reason you get in a pinch, inflation, fuel costs, all the things. Um, are you buying things now to set aside for the future? If you need tips and hints on how to do that and where to start with that, be sure to check out my uh, playlist because I have lots of information in my playlist. The purge continues. Aaron just did two trash bags worth of his stuff. And he does this, he did this like a year ago. So shoes, clothes, lots of stuff. It's a lot of military stuff. Lots of military stuff, lots of good shoes, good golf clothes. Say sayonara. Sayonara. I don't know if you guys are feeling motivated or unmotivated to purge, but I just wanted to show you some things that I'm getting rid of or returning to the store. I'm returning these and this to Walmart, things I haven't used, and I don't think I'm gonna end up using them. Um, but here we have a cork board and a white board, a mirror that I decorated with some of my granny's old um, buttons, but like seriously, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to use that in a house in the future. Um, and I'm not one to like keep things just because sentimental value, I'm not doing that. This is our old coffee pot. It still works. We were given a new one, so we just don't need two. We also have an espresso machine. We also have pour over. It was redundant. This is all of my husband's stuff, my husband's stuff. He's getting rid of tons of golf stuff and tons of shoes and things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm always like sentimental about his stuff too. I'm like, oh, you're going to get rid of that. Oh, you're going to get rid of that. I told him, don't get rid of any of your flannels. I'll wear them this winter. Um, this is a bag of kids clothes. This was my mom's or my granny's glass bowl with an iron stand, but I don't, I don't, know why I've held on to that. It's sentimental. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need it. This we've held on to just in case. Aaron found it at a yard sale one time and he wrote his name on it. And we're like, oh yeah, we'll use it for drinks. You can only fit six drinks in there. There's seven of us. We don't need a small cooler. Need. Do we need it? No, we don't need it. Want it. Yeah, we wanted it at the time six years ago, but we haven't used it. Um, these are planters. This is something I bought from a yard sale. This is an ice cream maker for like one serving for kids to roll around in a ball. Thought that was a waste of space that's a cookie jar don't need it um this is a tray used it once bought it from goodwill this is a basket got it from the dollar store and some wool balls under my knees so there we go you needed motivation to purge here you go we're still downsizing and purging i'm donating all this yard sales here are useless um so yeah to the donation <laughs>
<laughs> you wanna go? Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah. yes! Oh they my gosh! You, they brought you a puppy! Did you? Yeah! They brought the little puppy! Where's Bodie? Where's the puppy? They brought the puppy! Yes! <laughs> they thought they thought this was our camp. They thought this was our camper showing up. <laughs> This is a super simple way that I make a tomato sauce and this tomato sauce is going to be for pizza so I just roast them in the oven at 375 degrees for about an hour and then I blitz them in the blender, strain it through a fine mesh strainer and this is the sauce. I add salt and a little bit of sugar and it's so good on pizza. Very simple. Here's my sourdough pizza dough. It's my basic sourdough recipe. I just divide it into fours instead of um, halves for big loaves of bread. I divide it into quarters to make smaller personal sized pizzas. As the seasons change and everything starts to slow down a little bit, we're not as busy with all the hustle bustle of summer and gardening and harvesting. So now I feel like I have a lot more time to invest in the kitchen as far as homemade pizza and things like that go. So through the winter when we do our once a week pizza night, it will be with homemade pizza. We can turn the oven on, turn it up to 500 degrees, get our pizza stone hot, and bake this pizza on that. In the summertime, it is just way too hot to turn the oven on in the house, so I eliminate a lot of my made from scratch baking in favor of quicker means, easier means. I use my bread machine. So right now we are just topping this pizza with our ingredients. Aaron went by the chef supply store and got a large block of mozzarella cheese and he grated up a big bowl of mozzarella cheese for this pizza night. This pizza is for Hagen and I'm going to learn that this pizza is not going to slide off very easily and it's going to get really misshapen. But this is my first homemade pizza of the year and I've got some growing pains. Um, <laughs> to work through so I think I'm going to switch up my pizza assembly. I'm going to put the sauce on it and then put it in the oven and put the rest of the toppings on. That way it's not so heavy to slide off of the board. Um, so I think I need some of those little tiny, I don't know what it is, I think it's like cornmeal or something that people that the pizza parlors throw down under their pizza. So this is one of the pizzas that's done and it probably could have used a few more minutes. Set it when you're ready. Oh, this feels so good. Do you need any more cheese? I don't know. Yeah, just put some cheese on top of that. A little bit. You gotta infuse the flavor. Just a little bit till we get that burnt smoke effect. Oh. Hi friends, quick little update. I'm gonna be taking some time off. This month we have my birthday first and then my daughter's birthday is also this month in October, as well as our big surprise. My dad and my stepmother drove all the way from Virginia in their camper van 
to surprise us and or to surprise the children. So we're gonna be spending the next few days with my family and I'm gonna try to vlog some. And my dad is also gonna share a recipe with you all. So he's pretty excited about that. He might be a little nervous. He's trying to figure out how to sharpen his knives and get them well polished for a vlog with you all. So stay tuned for that, but thank you all so much for watching and for being here with me. If you're happening upon this and you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Um, I would love to have you a part of the Rouse Rising family. On this channel, I share with you holistic homemaking, lifestyle and parenting, and foods made from scratch, everything involved with that. So if you're into that, join me. I love having you here. Leave a comment down below where you're from and I appreciate you all sticking around while I take a little bit of time off and I enjoy my family. My family's 2,000 miles away so when they come spend time with us I give undivided attention, turning off the phone, social media, all that. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, I didn't plan very much content. I have one more video coming out and then I'm gonna have a bit of a break. So thank you so much for understanding. Until next time, you guys, bye.